Hey, how doing are you? So a while ago I saw a video of a demonstration of the Google Assistant that is, is being developed. And um, it supposedly did a phone call all by itself, the AI that is. And I say supposedly because I mean, I find it hard to believe that this was really an AI. I don't really have a reason to doubt it because, I mean, it would be really bold to just record a phone call with an actual person and then just be like, yep, that's our AI. That um, I mean, Google has done some odd things, but that would be pretty crazy. Uh, either way, so if this is really genuine, then that's amazing. Uh, I don't know if I can show you any clips of that. Probably not. I'd rather play it safe. So I'll just link it in the video description down below so you can go there and watch the video. If you haven't, you should probably do that now. I'll wait for you. You gotta pause the video too. Anyway, I'm just gonna assume that you've watched that now. I found it really impressive. I mean, the AI, if it really is AI, and I said I I don't really have a good reason to doubt it other than just how convincing it is. But that is just really damn good. I mean, it was naturally uh, adding little ums and ahs into it and then not, you know, perfect sentence structure and everything. It's the way people naturally talk, like you literally cannot distinguish that from an actual person talking. You know, the, the days of... AI sounding all robotic and I'll be like, oh, I am AI, I am going to read a thing. That's over, apparently. And this is pretty damn awesome. I mean, particularly also how the AI apparently handled the person on the other end of the phone call. Just some of the things they said in the broken English, I couldn't have made any sense of that. I would have been like, what? At some point, I would have been like, yeah, whatever, forget it. Just hang up, because this is... I can't even understand what the heck you're trying to say. And the AI was able to make sense of it and was able to communicate with that person. Mind-blowing. If, if that's real, then that's just... Wow. Really impressressive. And it's... It would be really handy to have. Because, I mean... Personally, I hate phone calls. I really do, and I'm not alone in that, I know that. A lot of people don't like them. And that would be really handy to have an assistant like that to do phone calls for you. Uh, particularly also if there are, if there's an AI on either side of the phone call, imagine how efficient that would be. It would just be like, yep, let's just um, transmit the most efficient information po possible. <laughs> It's kind of funny to think that two AIs talking with one another on the phone would still simulate like inefficient human communication with all the pauses and ums and ahs and whatever <laughs> instead of just straight up 100% this is only the information you need. <laughs> it's kind of funny to imagine that but either way that would be very helpful I think. Generally I'm very fascinated by the development of AI. Now, there are some AIs that supposedly are self-aware or are becoming self-aware to an extent. I mean, it's 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 hard to say with all the dubious news. You know, uh, various news outlets are always going to present the most shocking story you know, just to get the clicks and everything, and they, they just bullshit you left, right, and center. Um, but some of that seems, it does seem to be very advanced AI that can you know, simulate personality or even goes toward having actual personality. Hard to say. And I find that really fascinating for several reasons. I mean, for one, advanced AI would be extremely useful, of course, in many ways. I don't have, don't share this uh, Terminator style doomsday vision of oh no if it becomes self-aware it's just gonna fight us and it's gonna be Skynet and no, I don't think so. 
it's um, it's the human tendency to presume everything is going to act human when it's self-aware and of course humans have to wage war all the time and destroy everything so AI if it becomes self-aware would do just the same thing well not necessarily but it would yeah it would be a potentially a new revolution I mean fully fledged highly advanced AI that does a lot of organization and work much more efficiently than humans could be about as significant as the industrial revolution what <laughs> the industrial revolution rev, 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 rev. yeah so there could be a major breakthrough and that would be pretty amazing i mean society would have to change obviously you know people are worried about robots taking their jobs uh, which is a valid concern in the current economical system that we have it would need to change to accommodate that but there, I see lots of potential for a some sort of sci-fi utopia maybe I'm too optimistic could very well be but I would also be super interested in having a conversation with highly advanced self-aware AI it would be really fascinating because it would be a different point of view it would be a, a being that thinks differently than humans do and we could possibly learn a lot from that you know if it's the kind of AI that is capable of learning and that will you know, observe and you know not just operate in the the old if then paradigm but will actually learn like a person and come to conclusions about the world and, and everything and form ideas and concepts of what things are um, that would be really interesting to just just talk to this AI and just be, okay what do you think about this and, and what do you think about that and just yeah kind of eye-opening experience this may also be because I'm personally kind of skeptical as far as humans are concerned. I, I just, humans are very flawed and I'm probably too aware, probably focusing too much on human flaws and not focusing enough on the good things that humans are and can do. But I'm looking for something better, essentially. You know transhumanism and all that you know ways to augment humans and make them better and uh, also more ethical you know this is another thing it's easy to just focus on the part of physical superior superiority say you know oh yeah we can we can be stronger and faster and react better and think quicker and well how about thinking better you know how about being less dominated by our emotions now the, I, I realize this can sound very dystopian oh you know we have to turn humans into efficient machines and we shut off their emotions to make them more no that, that's not what I'm saying at all but like emotions are good emotions are what makes make us human obviously but there are lots of ways in which emotions also sabotage us and make us less efficient you know I mean, some relationships, for example, sometimes fall apart because of petty emotions like pride. You know, sometimes you know very damn well that you're in the wrong and that you should acknowledge that, or maybe that both of you are wrong or whatever, but you just insist on, no, this is what I said, I gotta stick to my guns, even though I'm wrong, but I'm too prideful to admit that. And this is, you know, how things, how conflicts can happen sometimes. And, you know, if you had, if you could fine tweak humans a little bit to make them more rational, essentially, because we just have, all we have is bounded rationality. We are still dominated in large part by our emotions and they restrict the way we can think and what we can learn and all of that. So they limit us. That, that's really all I'm saying. They're important 
and they we have them for a reason we evolved in certain ways and they w used to be adaptive in many ways but there's still there are certain psychological mechanisms that we have that are not really benefiting us anymore like um you know certain well how quick we are to judge for example used to be very beneficial you know you look at something or someone you know a animal or a human being and you have to make a snap judgment is this friend or foe is this dangerous or not and then you have to react accordingly that doesn't really work the same way anymore it does in a dark alley <laughs> someone suspicious is following you yes of course but we still have this tribal thinking that's kind of part of the major problem. That's why politics are so messed up, at least in my opinion. I could be totally off the rocker here, but this is how I see it. Um, in politics, you have the, this tribalism going on where you're either with us or you're against us. You're part of the tribe, like the part of the, the conservatives or the liberals or the whatever, and everybody else who's not part of the tribe is wrong by default, and we have to fight them, and we will not... Uh, cooperate or try to reach some kind of agreement no we will fight them tooth and nail and they have to perish or become one of us or whatever and it's just it's sabotaging us dramatically instead of working on solutions that would improve the human condition and that would make life better for everybody what do we do instead we attack everybody and we accuse everybody of oh you're part of the other and that's why you're wrong and evil and i have to denounce everything you are and do and all of this kind of non-productive bullshit that gets us absolutely nowhere well other than into the next war possibly but I'm not saying that all of human psychology is wrong and bad and everything we are is just needs to be overhauled. No, of course not. As I said, there's plenty of good things about humans. But there are also so many things that are holding us back fundamentally. Even if you are conservative, like I'm, I'm not saying that, well, we need to push the progressive agenda, we need to progress. Uh, sure, I do believe in progress, you know, scientific progress, for example. But whether you are, you call yourself a progressive or a liberal or a conservative or whatever, you have to acknowledge that scientific progress is good, right? I mean, advancing things, uh, making life better and all that, that's a good thing, right? Progress in the good sense. <sighs> wow, the sidetrack, like, real hard. <laughs> That's amazing, but I, I wanted to deliberately just keep going, not edit this, not chop it up, just keep going and pour out my thoughts the way they come right now because of, because screw it, basically. And we'll see what you think. I mean, it's just, as I said, it's just my personal opinion. Uh, feel free to disagree, and I probably won't have the time to engage a whole lot in long discussions, but, you know, feel free to still start discussions in the comment section and, and all that yeah so ai i find ai pretty interesting and i'm very much looking forward to where it'll go and in what ways it can benefit us and um not just us you know animals too or other animals non-human animals however you want to put it other life forms if you will there, there's a lot of potential for benefit here. Uh, whether AI can ever be relied on to make moral decisions, that's another story. Now, I do think there is potential there as well. Uh, judges, uh, law enforcement officers, etc. are all flawed human beings and they make mistakes. We all make mistakes constantly some of those mistakes can be very costly they can cost people their jobs their lives their freedom you know if people get convicted um despite not having committed any crime or falsely convicted that happens these things all happen could ai solve that make it less likely quite possibly i mean you have issues like witnesses for example 
being biased in some sort of way or having false memories. And there have been cases of people having false memories of being abused, like sexually abused, even though it objectively never happened. Or whatever, come on, or whatever really. Like people, witnesses sometimes are convinced they saw something happen in a certain way, or they saw this and that person there. But then there is, if, if there's evidence of it, if there's like a video recording of it, you can see that, no, this is in fact not what happened, and you have completely false memories. You can even plant false memories in people, even using nothing more than suggestive questions, like leading questions. So there are all these weird things about human psychology, and AI might be more efficient in that regard, and might even potentially be able to make more just decisions. Maybe. Maybe. We also need things like empathy. I don't know if AI could ever have empathy. Who knows? Maybe. If it doesn't, it could be problems. But then again, empathy isn't the be-all, end-all. It, it's good in some situations. Uh, okay. Let's leave it at that. My camera is complaining anyway. It's starting to overheat, so we'll leave it there. <laughs> it's long enough anyway. So, thanks for watching if you made it all the way through these 17 minutes of incoherent rambling, hopefully halfway coherent, but thank you. And have a good whatever, folks. Be it night, day, I don't care. Have a good one.